If you get to drive by Audubon State Park, it's always so pretty this time of year. It's pretty all, all year long. Lisa Hoffman is here with all the spring funds. Good to see you. You too. It's time. It's time to spring into action. It is, yes. Um, we're really pleased to bring back the Ohio Valley Birding Festival after a two-year hiatus because of COVID. Uh, because of COVID. Uh, it's a long-running event at the park, which is put on in partnership with the Evansville Audubon Society. So, you know, birdie, bird watching is a pastime that any age can enjoy no matter where you are. And so um, in partnership with them, whether you're an advanced birder or a novice, you will get to enjoy all kinds of birding activities. Um, on April 22nd, there's a 7 a.m. hike led by an Evansville Audubon expert at the Patoka River National Wildlife. So these area. are in different places, this which is, is kind of exciting. Yes, and then also a 7 a.m. hike at Eagle Slough Natural Area, just on the other side of Ellis mm -hmm. Park. Uh, but then the main event is April 23rd at Audubon, and we will have um, Master Bird Bander Scott Kramer there to host a, a banding workshop, which you're seeing on the screen there. He's got a, a pileated woodpecker that he's banding there. And what's the purpose and what's the function of that, Lisa? It's uh, collecting data. And um, citizen science, it's a, a chance to understand more about that bird's habits and where it travels, how it lives, how so long it lives. So interesting. I mean, it really is. Yeah, and uh, we'll be capturing birds at the Audubon feeder area, and he'll ban them and release them. So you definitely bring your cameras to get some close-up shots of that. Right. Uh, we've also got uh, Talon Trust, an Evansville-based raptor rescue rehab um, organization. They'll be showing some live raptors. Uh, Columnist and author Sharon Sorensen. Uh, she will be speaking about um, how birds behave, what they do, and why they do it. There's also an owl pellet dissection lab if you've never done that before. An owl pellet <laughs> dissection lab, Ron. There yeah. you go. You I've get to always take wanted that to apart do that. and see the skulls and bones and things inside. Um, kids' craft and games. There's a junior birders hike. All kinds of things. So, so every age can enjoy absolutely. this. Absolutely. Can how can we get our hands on this brochure that we have? Because yeah. it has all the, the details. The full schedule is in the brochure. If you go to parks.ky.gov and um, just click on the event schedule, you'll find Indiana. that under Audubon. Oh, was it's also on our Facebook page, so it's it's out there. Or you can contact me with questions. Yeah, it's event. very extensive. So I mean, there are lots of good details in here yes. too. Yes, yes, a lot. So it you can get these. And next? Um, well, we've got another little Rembrandt's coming up on May 6th at 1030 for ages 3 to 6. Uh, this is a Mother's Day art project, so they'll get to uh, create a piece of art with lines and shapes and colors for $5, and uh, you attend with your child. So it's always a, a great event with Mrs. Kim. Uh, she does tell you to dress for a mess, because, <laughs> you know, paint and small children involved, that's usually well, the case. <laughs> this can be a mess. <laughs> Yep, and then um, next up is a monthly guided hike with me on Saturday, May 21st at 10. Uh, this one is Walking Warbler, which is going to be a 1.4 mile hike down and back our Warbler Road Trail. Uh, it's actually a paved path that takes you right into the heart of our nature preserve. And so, you know, it's a nice tree-lined, moss-covered road. Uh, you'll get to see hopefully some wildlife in there and, and just enjoy the springtime woods. So um, that is free as well. You'll just meet me at the trailhead there by the Welcome Center in the you don't park. don't have to sign up, register for that one? No, nope, sure okay. don't. Just now, what about come. little Rembrandts? Do they need to register? Um, yes, we do need to pre-register for that one. Everything that we're talking about now is on your website. Again, give them the web address. Yeah, parks.ky.gov. You just look for the event calendar. And then um, all of our events go out on Facebook as well. And um, Museum Mondays now are in effect, so free admission on Monday. So you can stop in today or any Monday. Check it all out. Yes. Enjoy the beauty that is Audubon State Park. Thank you, Lisa.